Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academia. So in this video, we are going to discuss about open loop study and closed loop study with the help of PAD simulation using MATLAB. Okay, and straight away going to the MATLAB. So in this, first we will discuss about open loop study. So in that one, I am going to take some system in the form of transfer function model. So I'll take this is my system. So this system is a transfer function model. I'm going to use a numerator, let it be one, and denominator. Actually, I'm going to use s square plus two s plus one. S square plus two s plus four. Four. So this is the transfer function which I'm going to use in my study. So now I have to give some input to my system with the help of step signal. So now the step time is 1, initial value is 0 and final value is 1. This is my input signal. I want to see the output. So I need a scope. If you want to see both input and output in a single scope, just double click the scope and go to the view, go to configuration parameters, change the number of inputs as 2, close it. Now I am going to compare my input with my output. Okay, so it is a simple open loop study and having some just a system. The system's transfer function value is 1 by s square plus 2s plus 1. I can say it is a system. Now, if you execute the program, if you look at this, so you want to see more output. This one is system output. I am using some other color for your reference. I think my screen is very clear now. So this is your input. I can say this is my input. And this one is the output of the system. Now there is a deviation from the set point. I can say this is nothing but error. Actually, this output has to be settled down in the exact value of 1. But in open loop, you will never achieve the target. This is the drawback of open loop system. But it will give you a steady state output. The system is stable, but you cannot achieve the target in open loop system. Okay, so then we will go, go with. Then we will go with closed loop study. Here I am just disconnecting these lines. I need a closed loop because here I want to compare my system output with my target. So I need a sum block. The negative, the feedback will be always a negative feedback. And the output of comparator is directly given to the controller. So 
so at this point actually here this one is your set point whereas this one is your measured value this component is nothing but at a comparator or it is also called as error detector which will calculate the deviation from the set point so this error signal is directly given as an input to the controller normally a PAD controller The controller's input is error signal whereas output of controller is control signal that will be given to the system now. Now let us see one by one what is the significance of proportion controller, what is the significance of integral, combination of PID, everything we will discuss in detail. So this is a PID controller. So in this controller I am just giving, if you double click this proportional gain, integral gain and derivative gain values are there. Now I am just selecting this integral gain is 0 as of now I am going to employ only the proportional controller I'm applying it click on ok if you run the system you can able to see The amplitude of output response is now increased but still it's having a deviation. This deviation is called as offset. So this is the drawback of proportional controller. Whenever you employ a proportional controller, it will give a steady state output. High disturbance rejection is there. Very good disturbance rejection is there. But it will create offset. Offset is nothing but deviation from the set point. So this will be the drawback of proportional controller. If you want to reduce this set offset and if you want to make the system settle with the set point, then you have to employ the combination of proportional with integral controller. Now again I am going to create a controller. Now I am just giving some input as a keep i value, ki is nothing but integral gain value I'm just giving some values 5 apply it okay now if you run the program look at the output and now just increase the simulation time then you will get the exact output so now if you look at this whenever you apply a combination of PI controller the offset is eliminated but whenever you employ integral controller which introduce more number of oscillations in your system more number of oscillation so this is a drawback of integral controller how to reduce this oscillation? Oscillation means it's having a maximum peak overshoot and undershoot is there. Settling time is very big actually. So we want to reduce these parameters. Then you have to go for the combination of proportional plus integral plus derivative controllers. Now if you employ an integral value of derivative value of 2, apply it click OK, run the program. So now you can able to get the better output. If you employ the combination of PID, the desired target is achieved with minimum number of oscillation with reduced settling time. So always the combination of proportional plus integral plus derivative controller will give the better result in closed loop study. So in my next video, we will discuss how to tune this KP, KI, KD values, means proportional gain, integral gain and derivative gain respectively in the next video. Okay. Thank you. Please kindly subscribe the channel. Thank you.